Well, there was a bankruptcy in 1933, which was the real reason why they created the Great Depression of, of 29. Uh, to get people to beg for social insurance. Now, here in Canada, we call it social insurance. In the United States, they fought revolutionary wars and they fought civil wars. And they understood that security was a better word. It sounded better to the Americans. And so to sell it to the Americans, they called it social security. But they themselves call it social insurance, and that's what it is. Okay, so now having said that, I'll go back to this document, which you can get from the freedompool.org online. And this was a meeting. Okay, this, was, this is what House said. Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property. That's the birth certificate. They will be required to register their biological property in a national system designed to keep track of the people and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a chargeback for our fiat paper currency. Every American will be forced to register or suffer not being able to work and earn a living. The sin. They will be our chattel. That means slaves, it means collateral. You're secured as collateral. They will be our chattel, and we will hold the security interest over them forever. By operation of the law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions, Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly, Delivering the bills of lading to us will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent forever to remain economic slaves through taxation secured by their pledges. The birth certificate. They will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value designed to make us profit and they will be none the wiser. For not one man in a million could ever figure out our plans. And if by accident one or two would figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government. By floating liens and debt to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will insure us for any loss we may incur in this matter. Every American will unknowingly be our servant, however begrudgingly. The people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption, we will employ the high office of the president of our dummy corporation to foment this plot against America. This is a certified true copy of my live statement of birth. You can get this by applying for it at the Registrar General. They'll give it to you. And it's very interesting because this is where it all began. This is the foundation document. All identification is generated from this document. And so if the foundation document is no good, Anything that's made from it is no good. That means driver's licenses, health cards, everything. Now what they did here, this is exactly what he meant 
when he said, soon every American will be required to register their biological property. Now your parents didn't realize what they were doing when they filled this out, and these didn't exist before 1933. Birth records were recorded in scripture, and these only came into being in 1933 when they hatched this plan. They created a corporate fiction with a name just like yours. In doing this, they registered and monetized the spirit and soul of a living being. This denotes ownership. And when your parents were tricked into filling this out, they allowed your spirit and your soul to be monetized. And futures were sold on you. Spirit and soul. Now, this is my birth certificate. This is actually a share. See this red number? This A, I'm born in Canada. This is a class A share. Now, this is called a CUSIP number. And all securities require a CUSIP number. And that's what this is. And you are held as collateral to secure the debt which our government owes to international bankers. So you and me and all these people here are actually collateral. And we don't even own our lives. We are chattel. And we believe we're free. I made an application to the Registrar General and I got my original social insurance application. Now before they sent it to me, they put a little piece of paper over this before they photocopied it. Because my friend has his and they didn't block this out. And when you hold it up, you see Bank of Canada. It is said that the best slaves are the ones who don't know that they're enslaved. And we all have invisible chains on us and we don't know it. What truth? That you are a slave in here. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. We're talking about big bucks. We're not talking about hundreds of millions or even hundreds of billions now. We're talking about trillions of dollars. The obligation is immeasurable. Nobody can measure it. This door is wide open now. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. Do you notice that they have the same amount of ink on them? Do you notice that they're made out of the same virtually worthless stuff? It's paper. Did you get it? It's paper. When we create money, we have created an instrument of value that has no value of its own. And it's just as expensive or inexpensive to print the 20 as it is to print the 1. In January of 1913, in December of 1913, he signed the Federal Reserve Act, bringing the Federal Reserve System into place in America and did what Thomas Jefferson said must never happen. He took the control of the money away from the people by taking it away from the Congress and gave it to a group of private individuals who have to pay taxes on the money they loan the government. 